And welcome everybody back to Shacken Gaming for episode 2 of Firework. Let's dive right into it. Lixun, can you tell me something about your father? My dad was a criminal investigator. He had handled a lot of big cases. He was always busy and away from home. After his death, I finally saw his face clearly for the first time. I was young then. I just stared curiously at the small wound on his forehead. The adults often said that I looked a lot like him. Every time they said that, I would think of the wound. And my head would start aching. That feeling was like... The bullet that killed my dad had taken root in my own head. Time to get up. Food is ready. Get up now. And thus we wake... I'm guessing in our own room, maybe? This is my room, exactly. I remember as I was leaving public phone market, a black car drove towards me. But I don't have any wounds on my body or feel any pain. Who brought me back? So many questions. This is my room. But when was this mirror installed? Get up and wash, it's time to eat. And there is a broken mirror hanging on the wall. When was it installed? And why do we even have a mirror? I mean, Lixon hates mirrors, right? There is a bottle of sleeping pills on the nightstand. I guess we took them. I don't remember buying sleeping pills. You're still not done washing. The food is getting cold. I've heard this voice before. It is the voice of a middle-aged woman on the phone. All right, let's explore the rest of the room as well. Oh, shoot. We broke the mirror. What are they saying about breaking a mirror and bad luck? I guess we get it. The fragments that fell off the mirror are jutting out from the bed. I remember. This is the mirror from the bathroom in the Tian's house. Ooh, and that explains the sleeping pills as well, I guess. There are items manifesting in our room that are not our own. Interesting. Why is the Tian family's mirror in my room? I'll search if there are any other suspicious objects, like the sleeping pills. Obtain mirror fragment one. Right, so we need, I guess, two or three of them. Judging by the image, I see we need two more. The poster of a popular movie in recent years. Fascinating. What else? Oh, what is behind the cloth? Remove the old cloth. Another mirror. The mirror was broken into several pieces, one of which looks out of place. Obtain mirror fragment two. Nice. So one more, I'd say, and we should be able to put this mirror back together. The calendar sticks on September 22nd. Yes, the ominous date. We've seen that one before. And the third and final piece of glass, I'm hoping. The glass of its frame is smashed, and one of the fragments has a special pattern printed on it. Oh yes, we've been seeing that rose all over the place. I don't know what the significance is. Outstanding AAA student, eh? Nice. In any case, we got the three mirror fragments. Let's put this together, I guess. Ch 
Chapter 2, Accumulated Sins, starts now. A window has appeared in the mirror. Focus on the window. Oh, and we are back at the Tian's house. Interesting. Is it just me or do you guys think as well every time we look into a mirror we are crossing over on a, uh, I don't know, a different reality or something? This place is the bathroom in the Tian's house. Ah, damn those door sounds. <laughs> yeah, this is too dark. We cannot do anything. The game kind of guides me, doesn't it, with the red lights and the sounds. Take the candle? Why, yes. This is my means of lighting the place, finding out what's happening in dark places. There fills the pungent smell of gunpowder. Alright, the English translation is a bit off, but ah, I don't mind much. The mist has become thicker than before. It seems something was burned nearby. Let's find out what it is. Maybe we should go upstairs. The key unlocks the door indeed. And closes on its own. Yes, that is not scary at all. A red umbrella dripping with water. Alright, let's explore the left side first. I guess we can do the right side afterwards. A happy family, but nothing in there. The photo in the frame is missing. A piece of yellow paper is under the phone. What is there written on it? Huisha. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. I'm sorry if I butchered it. After a person died, the spirit will return to the land of the living on the seventh day. This phenomenon is called Husha. To prevent the spirit from getting lost, family members will light candles in their house. The spirit will find their way by following back the candles. Obtain the yellow paper. So I'm guessing this is kind of a candle lighting game now. Let's explore the other statues as well. The candle is engraved with the word two. Oh, okay, so how many do we get? I'm guessing this is three. Yes, so which is one? One should be there on the chair. Can I light it? Yes, thank you. All right, that should be four. Light it as well, please. There is a grayscale portrait on the wall with the name Tian Yu written at the corner. Tian Yu? I remember, he was Fan Fan's father. He is the deceased, I guess. The candle, yes, it is number five indeed. And I'm gonna light it. Alright, that is either the TV or the radio. Sounds more like a radio. The radio channel requires tuning to receive normal signals. Alright, so hold on. We got five things as we have five candles. That is much is certain. How many positions? We got one, two, three, four positions. Alright, so let's see. Five candles. Wrong channel, the signal still... Yes, obviously. Because I haven't figured out the combination. Give me a sec. Alright, so we got candles. One, two, three, four, five. And we have four different heights. Uh, it could be. Okay, this looks easy. Let's see, this should be the lowest candle, so this would be at the base. Like, I'm gonna place candle number one all the way down. Candle number five is the tallest. So this should be all the way up. And between them we got, like, uh, this should be... One from the bottom, and this should be one from the top. All right, so let's do it.
So I should set this the lowest, right? This should remain up number five. And then I'm gonna set these two a notch down and this two notches down. Yes, the radio is working properly now, excellent. The radio is playing weird chanting sound. Oh, and the sound of an ominous door opening again. And there is Miss Chen. Miss Chen. What a coincidence. We ran into each other twice tonight. Officer, what are you doing here? Well, I am an officer. I'm investigating. Jesus Christ, the other way around. We should be asking her what she's doing here. Miss Chen, maybe you're right. There might be hidden clues in the Tian family case. I'll continue to investigate. What did you find? Nothing yet, but I'll try hard to search the house. Also, this is a crime scene. It'll be hard for me to explain to my superior if you leave any traces, so please get out. I understand. I'll go somewhere else. I'll leave you alone. Officer, you seem to be quite concerned about the case. I was a bit harsh on you. Hope you don't take it seriously. It is okay. Now, we are becoming buddy buddies, I guess. All right, let's investigate. The food on the table is rotten, and there is a piece of paper next to it. My body will not rot into the mud. Like a bird, it'll die in the sky. Oh, interesting. Okay. Kind of ominous, though. Why does it need to die in the first place? Why can it not live on? Seems to have been torn from a book of poetry. Dark poetry at that. Ah, hold on. Ah, oh, there's something else here. There's a family portrait in the wine jar. Right, now we just need to remove it somehow, I guess. Why is a photo in the jar? I have to find a way to get it out. Alright, we need, like, I don't know, some form of tool. There are seasonings and chopsticks near the pot. Ooh, take the chopsticks. Come on. Excellent. Now we have a means to remove it. One person is missing in the family portrait. Yes, the upper left part seems to be unoccupied. And we obtain the family portrait. Let me quickly see if there's anything on the right side. Nope, we are going back. Oh, and we are meant to put this in the empty photo frame, of course. Can we go out the balcony? Not yet. Oh man, the sound of the TV. I'm actually supposed to play this. The TV has no signal. No, I'm not. Alright, let's fill the photo frame. And straighten it. Oh! Some words have appeared on the photo. TV 21. Alright, something about the TV in number 21. Tune into which channel? Y21. Now we're going to reveal the special number for this issue. Oh, it is a lottery. Announcement of Xinjiang Style Lottery Winnings. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the special number for the 28th issue of Xinjiang Style is... Number 4. And clean the screen. Oh man, this is gonna be one of those instances. Clean the screen and something is standing right behind me, isn't it? Why did you turn off the TV? I still want to watch my TV series. 
Okay, that is the grandmother and the grandfather, right? I mean, Jian Rong is the grandfather, so I'm guessing Gillian, or however you pronounce that, is the grandmother, probably. It's too nosy. It's annoying. I've already told you, it's not easy to win the lottery. It's actually quite impossible. Well, a lottery ticket doesn't cost much. Yeah, and that's how they get you. <laughs> Tian Jian Rong, do you know how much money we have? Ooh, money troubles. You just lent 10,000 yuan to your cousin last month. We are almost out of money. He's my relative. I had to help. You just wanted to pretend to be generous and rich. When you get the job, we will be having more income. Ah yes, make plans and then God laughs at them. You've been trying to get him the job for several years and spend a lot on it. The people in your company were all flattering you back then. Now that you've been fired, they just don't care about doing favors for you. Yes, such cruel is life. I was laid off under the arrangement of the state, not fired. Besides, the supermarket is almost ready. We can make money out of it too. Alright, I'm done with this. I'm going to cook. Hey, we can't let outsiders know that our family is short of money. Especially her. Oh, who is her? The daughter? Maybe. I understand. If other people knew about this, we will be humiliated. And clean the screen again. Oh, man. <laughs> what is it going to be this time? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. You always expect something to be on a mirror, and yet you always get jump scared when it happens. <laughs> Tian's residence looks flashy, but it turns out they were financially struggling, which other people didn't know. There may be more secrets hidden there. Oh, yes. The sound of a door opening is coming outside the living room. And that's where we head next. Alright, so the red denotes I should go that way. Alright, the moon sets, the crows cry, east of the maple tree. Interesting. I have no idea what it means though. What do they mean? Yes, exactly. Sounds ominous, but I don't really know why. <laughs> These are books about Feng Shui and celestial events, and a piece of paper was put in one of them. Alright, we get various phases of the moon, new moon full, first quarter, third quarter, and we get some, uh, some times. So maybe we'll need to experiment with the, the time at some point, we'll see. Maybe some time traveling even, who knows. Oh, or there is a clock here. This could be as simple as, yes, setting the time. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of bored of going back and reading what the correct time would be. I'm just going to try them. We just have four options, I mean. The clock does not respond. All right, set it to nine o'clock. The clock does not respond again. Third choice, midnight. Ah, yes, of course it would be midnight. Classic yin time, I guess. Oh, and now we are controlling the little person inside the clock. So I'm guessing we turn back time. We're gonna revisit some past event, most probably. Hey, Tian, I'm here. Have you got the stuff? Here, it's fresh. Look, the color is nice, isn't it? It probably belonged to a high-ranking official in the Xing dynasty. 
All right, all right, put it away. Oh, do not want to get caught. Do you, Jean Wrong? Ha, you're not going to touch it again? I'm just helping you contact your client. I won't touch it. I understand. Dead people's belongings are unlucky and too much of a taboo to you. I'll take you to the client on Wednesday. Wait for my call. Thank you in advance, Tian. By the way, Tian, you've stopped doing this after you got married. Why did you start again? It has nothing to do with you. Tian, I heard that you spent quite a lot on getting a job for you. I might be stingy, but I remember the favors I owe others. If you need something. Our family isn't short of money. A previous client wanted a few antiques and I couldn't refuse. That's why I came to you. Oh, you could have said that earlier. Good to hear that you are all right. I'm heading off then. Ah, yes. Trying to hide his money problems. Some shady dealings going on here. Bad luck. The decorative painting on the clock has come off. There are a few lottery tickets hidden inside. Oh, are we gonna play the lottery? Interesting. Scratch the lottery tickets. Yes. Oh, and of course, <laughs> of course we get some ominous text. Do you really think you can change your fate? It's your son's bad luck to be born into the Tian family. This is karma. Oh, and the son died. The son died for the sins of the father, I guess. Which constitutes bad karma. It's time for burial. It's not good if we miss the auspicious time. So you spend some more time with you. I'll go to the balcony. He has planted some flowers there. I'll check on them and pick a few beautiful ones to plant by the grave. Yes, poor you departed. I guess. He's gone. What's the point in that? You like these flowers. He'd be happy to have them planted by his grave. You did nothing wrong. He didn't deserve the karmic retribution. Oh, you didn't know about the shady dealings of your husband, I guess, Miss Gillian. What karmic retribution? You're talking like you had all endured hardships all these years. I did those just to make more money and give all of you a better life. Then tell me, now he died from illness. Whose fault is this? The burial people are coming soon. Yes, we are changing the uncomfortable subject, I guess. I'm going to the balcony to check on used flowers. Some are broken. It's upset. I'm upset to look at them. And we are back again. Oh, hold on. What is this place? All right, we obviously need to go back. So the plot is actually starting to unravel here. The son died, you that is, because of the sins of the grandfather. What is the grandfather going to do about it, though? Seems very, uh, I don't know, very intent of taking action, while the grandmother is very sad and all. My birthday is coming soon. Mother said she will go to town and buy a big cake for me, yes. But who bought the cake? We still don't know that. Definitely not the mother, she was dead by then.
Oh, and the balcony is lighting up now. Yes, that is where you's favorite flowers are, I guess. So maybe the flowers hold some secrets. No, not these flowers. Maybe this one. A potted plant that is about to wither. Clean up the dead branches. Yes, let's do it. What did I do wrong? The job that I got my son was decent. Others would kill for it. The house I built for him was the most luxurious in this neighborhood. Everyone had to look up to us. I've never done anything wrong. This is all your fault. Oh wow, what's going on here? Yi Jing's son! Oh, he is blaming the doctor. Yes, of course. You killed my son! And thus the grandfather took his revenge out on the doctor. Dad, it's almost full. You'll catch a cold sleeping on the balcony. Alright, so this is the daughter addressing the grandfather. Interesting. I've got a blanket. I'm fine. Besides, your mother's nagging irritates me. I guess better have the cold that they eat than the nagging, I guess. <laughs> Is Fan Fan asleep? She went to bed after finishing her homework. Did she say anything? Before falling asleep, she said she missed her dad. Yeah, that's only natural, I guess. She's still young. She needs adults to accompany her. Fan Fan is very close to your mother. Her world revolves around her. We want to watch Fan Fan grow up. Do you understand? I understand, Dad. Oh, hold on. What does that mean, actually? Why is she, why is she telling that to the daughter? Maybe the daughter wants to leave with Fan Fan and the grandfather wants her to stay here. Ah, we'll find out, I guess. That's good. You should spend more time with Fan Fan. I will, Dad. You should come in if it gets cold. I'm perfectly fine here. When I opened my eyes early in the morning, I saw a crowd downstairs. They all looked up at our house. I could see the envy in their eyes. Once, I even saw you in the crowd. I told him to come up, but he didn't respond. Yeah, he's seeing ghosts, the grandfather is. Or maybe not, what do I know? This is a supernatural game after all. Dad, you were dreaming. Dreaming. If only I had been dreaming. Right, and back we are again. Seeing you in the crowd, huh? Interesting. And he says he wasn't dreaming. What was it then? A ghost? The ghost of you? Or a telephone? Hey, Fan Fan. Do you like the clothes I bought you? You like it? That's great. I have another good news for you. I'll take you to see Dad this Saturday. Yes, he's back. You should put on your new clothes and show them to your dad. Hold on, does she or he, whoever is speaking, mean that you is back from the dead? Interesting. And that is all we get. Ooh. Okay, that portrait is new. That's the voice of Fan Fan's grandma. Right, so the grandma found a way to communicate with the dead son, maybe? What did she mean by Tian Yu is back? Yes, that is my question as well. What is this portrait about? Forever remembered. 
The portrait in the frame disappeared, a few more musical notes appear in the center. Alright. We might be on the lookout for musical stuff from now on. Do I still need to do something because this is red? Alright, let's go back. And there she is. Oh, and the door has changed to a musical background. Interesting. That's probably where we need the portrait to decode it, maybe, or something. What is this, Miss Chen? I have no idea either. This place is weird. The room layout seems to be changing constantly. But I remember the pattern on this door. Fanfan Fan had a diary. This pattern was on the cover page. And this door has a combination lock, just like her diary. Alright, so maybe we need to go back to the portrait to get the code. Do you know the passcode? This was my student's privacy. Of course I don't know. Maybe there are clues that can help us open this door. I will look for them. Officer, can we look together? Fanfan was a student I cared about very much. I want to know what Fanfan and her family went through. If you're afraid that I might destroy the scene... It's okay, Miss Chen. I also want to know the Tian family's past. You have been in Xingtan town longer than I have. You should know better. I'll do my best to answer whatever you want to know. No secrets will remain undiscovered in this little town. She sounds resolute. Nice. Well, Miss Chen, thanks for your cooperation. Chen Xingsu joined the team. You can obtain more clues by investigating some places again. Alright, so we kind of move in unison now, I guess. Let's go back and see if she understands anything more about the portrait. Oh yes, and we get a blue pointer now, a blue magnifying glass. I'm guessing that denotes that, that Miss Chen has additional info. I remember there were musical notes on the door. Maybe this melody is related to the password. Let me have a look. 53-5-I This is the prelude of the song Farewell. So, mi, so, do. Alright, so these are musical notes. The last do is a high do, the one after the seventh note, so it can be interpreted as an eight. The password should be 5358. Right, we got it. Miss Chen, very valuable addition to the team. Miss Chen, do you teach music? I teach Chinese literature. The school doesn't have a music teacher, so I teach some simple songs once in a while. I like this song very much. The student said when I finish teaching here, they will sing this song to me as a farewell gift. This might be the password. Try it. Yes, indeed. Let's go back and try it. Alright, it was 5358, right? And we are out. Excellent. Oh. Oh, that's going even deeper. Yes. Don't we all love going deeper in horror games? Behind the door, a staircase going downward appears. We can see the bottom of the staircase. And yet, we went venture forth. What's wrong? I think I heard a little girl's laughter behind me. A little girl's laughter. My ears might have played a trick on me. I mean, you sound a bit superstitious. Are you scared? I'm a cop. 
I do not believe in ghosts. And yet you are scared, she can tell. <laughs> we walked down such a long staircase, and now we are at the entrance again. But the atmosphere here feels different from what it was earlier. Well, let's look around first. Alright then, let's investigate. How about the door itself? I can't see where I came from. The cordon has talisman stuck all over it. You cannot move forward. I'm guessing the same goes with the other door. Oh, but there is a note here. A page that has been torn out from a diary is stuck to the wall. Today we went to the city. Mom bought me a toy camera. Grandpa and Grandma took me to visit an old lady. Oh, the mysterious old lady. Who is she? On our way back, Grandpa and Grandma got into a quarrel. Count me out next time for stuff like this. I don't believe in these things, and I don't want to be seen here. What is there to be ashamed of? You've just read a few more books in school. Get off your high horse. Did the witch say anything wrong? She could tell that you touched belongings of the dead immediately. Oh, hold on. That is a uh, that is actually an important phrase. So first things first, they went to see a witch. I'm guessing a fortune teller or something like that. And she could tell you touched belongings of the dead, which means the grandma also knows of Jean Rong's uh, wrongdoings, I guess. Interesting. See, she just had a hunch. You're falling for her lies if you believe her. Tiens, Jean Rong, I don't care whether you believe her or not. I can't let anything happen to Fan Fan. The witch gave me some talismans. Put them up at home, and they will cast evil spirits out. One more thing. Burn some offerings for the people you've crossed. I don't believe in these. I won't do it. You... How are you still alive after sleeping on the cold balcony every day? Well, that is a weird change of subject. I'll do it. You always need a woman to clean up your mess. Shame on you, Tian Zhan Rong. The witch also said she saw you and he missed us. We'll go to the witch in a week and she can summon you. Stay home if you don't believe in these things. I'll take Fan Fan and our daughter-in-law along. You guys go. I'll stay home. Alright, so they are summoning the ghost of the dead. Interesting. Totally normal. Now, where do we go next? Now, this is the same text. We cannot move because of the talismans. Oh, that is new. Hold on. There weren't any bricks here. The door disappeared, leaving only a brick wall. And there is a new camera as well. Hold on. There is a toy camera hanging on the wall. Check the camera. Yes, of course. Invert the image. And chapter 3, Accumulated Sins, starts now. As we invert the image. Oh, interesting. We're getting a different kind of reality, I guess, now. Right, so I'll bet we'll have to switch between realities and combine things between them, I guess. Oh, and... First things first, now we can actually move through the doors. Interesting. Alright, the obvious thing is a red doll right here. A drawing of a little girl is hidden inside the deity statue. But we can do nothing about it. Unless, maybe we use the camera again. Invert the image. Alright, how about now? Investigate the deity statue. I can't identify what kind of deity it is. It's probably one that the locals believe in. 
Move the deity. There is a diary page behind the statue. 19th March. Today we went to see the old lady we visited last time. Grandma said we could see Dad. Grandpa wouldn't go. Before we left, we folded a lot of shiny paper ingots. Use the arrow keys. Oh, we need to fold this? Oh man, I'm not good at remembering stuff. Alright, so down, up, up, right, left, down. Down, up, up, right, left, down. Down. Up. Up, right, left, and down. And finalize the shape. It is a boat. Miss Zhang, can Fan Fan come in? Oh, we are at the fortune tellers right now. Okay, cool. This is soul summoning. It might accidentally summon other wandering ghosts. Fan Fan is young and weak in young energy. I'm afraid that her soul might get captured by a little ghost. Let her watch outside. Okay then. Sorry for troubling you, Miss Zhang. By the way, close the window. Don't let the evil spirits out. Okay, go shut the windows, Jiaquan. Oh, and the mother is here. So we have the grandmother, the mother and the daughter. The three generations at the fortune tellers. Don't interrupt me, no matter what happens next. You can ask questions. He will answer you if he wants. If he doesn't, do not push him. And... His soul will return to where it belongs after. Do not cling to it. And I guess questions were asked and answered, but we cannot hear them. Fanfan. Fanfan, fan. Fan, wake up. Fanfan, fan, go out and play. It's so much fun out there. All right. Try harder. There you go. Come here, Fan Fan. I'm not controlling this. Interesting. Also, I'm guessing. Yes, now I'm controlling this. This represents Fan Fan, I guess. People say it's dangerous outside the pond. There are a lot of dead ends here. Alright, so keep going and avoid the dead ends, like this one. A toad is muttering a spell that doesn't make any sense. She looks a lot like dad, but she isn't dad. Mama Mermaid is frowning. She seems upset. She said, I miss my home, the ocean. The ocean is vast and everyone lives freely in it. There are so many twists and turns, and it ends here. I really want to help Mama Mermaid. But I can't find the way out either. Interesting. So this represents the reality from Fan Fang's eyes about her mother and her father. She cannot help. She wants to, but she can't. The little tadpoles swam happily when they saw Mother Tortoise lying on the rock. They swam over and asked, Mother Tortoise, where is our mother? Tian Fan Fang. Tian Fan Fan. 
Tian Fan Fan. Oh, and she wakes up from a dream, I guess. Tian Fan Fang, are you daydreaming again? Why can't you pay attention like the other students? Go back and copy the text manually ten times. I'll call your parents over if you do it again. Oh, and one more thing. A new teacher, Miss Chen, will join our school tomorrow and replace me as your Chinese literature teacher. Make sure you dress neatly tomorrow so you do not embarrass yourself. All right, and this is how Miss Chen came into the picture, I guess. And suddenly we appear in the school. This should be Fan Fan's classroom. Where did Miss Chen go? Okay, so I guess we are not exploring together right now. We have a camera. Let's actually look at the camera first. It always reveals the objects. Invert the image. I guess we get some red here. The door is painted in this quieting red. A red flower is painted on the cabinet. The windows are painted in weird red. Alright, so we're gonna invert the camera again. How about these things here? Hold on. The creepy doodles of big-headed dolls which seem to be unfinished. Oh, so maybe we need to finish them. Interesting. Let's invert the camera again. I'm gonna go first. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Jump scare by the chair. <laughs> There is a pencil sharpener on the table with a piece of paper underneath it. There is a wooden box on the lecture podium. Oh, okay, simple puzzles. All right, so hold on. Ah, uh, right, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna just kind of finish it and come back to you guys. There you have it. The box clicks as it opens and reveals a key. I'm not sure what it is for. I'll check the vicinity first. Now let's check the drawer. There's definitely something in the second one. The cabinet has two drawers and a door. They are all locked, but we have a key. The key I just found might be useful. Which lock would you try? Let's go for the middle, immediately. The drawer is open. There's a box of chalk inside the drawer. And we obtain the red chalk. Oh, so maybe we need to paint the red. Interesting. We did see the figures. Like the figures over here had some red. Alright, nothing new, I guess. Oh, use the pencil sharpener. Grind the chalk. Yes. Obtain the red chalk powder. Alright, so maybe we need to use that. Oh, and uh, red things are appearing. Even though I haven't used the camera. Very interesting. Maybe we should use the camera again. The creepy doodles of big-headed dolls, which seem to be unfinished. Apply red chalk powder, yes. <laughs> Alright, that is a bit disconcerting. Oh shoot, that is even more. That was fun fan. I recognize that face. Interesting. Right, we did that. Let's invert the camera back, I guess. Oh, shoot. I should make her sit at the back of the classroom. 
Otherwise, the new teacher will be pissed when she sees her zoning out all day. If you send her to the back, her grandpa will come and cause a scene in the school. Great, I will let Tian Zhanrong know that what his granddaughter did in class. Look at all the doodles on her exercise book. She will never achieve anything like this. And turn to another piece of paper, alright? Let's do that. Somebody enters the room and looms over us. Tian Fan Fan? Do you remember me? I visited your school for an interview half a year ago. You welcomed me back then. I will be teaching here tomorrow onwards. Miss Chen? Yeah, you should go home, it's late. I didn't pay attention in class, so my punishment is to copy the text. Fan Fan, let me show you something. Close your eyes first, then open them when I tell you to. Uh-huh. Fan Fan, you can open your eyes now. Oh, that is a classic game. Have you guys played that before? <laughs> that is very interesting. You can write things on the inside of this uh, sort of paper flower, I guess. You can write up to eight things and then you fold it over once or twice or three times and you get random uh, things appearing, I guess. All right, in any case, you'll see, I guess, how it works. Fun Fun, have you played this before? I have. All right, for the purposes of this, I have never played this. Let's get the explanation. Then let me go over the rules. You can pick a direction from east, south, west, north. Then you'll say a number. For example, if you pick east and six, I will move six times. Then see what's drawn on the east side. I drew faces on every side inside. If you pick a smiling face, then you're off the hook. Oh, I bet she drew smiling faces in every single one of them. <laughs> How does that sound? Choose the direction first. Let's actually go with what she said, east and six. I'm wondering whether there's an easter egg or something. <laughs> okay, let me see what it is. Yes, and indeed there's only smiling faces. <laughs> it is a smiling face. Stop copying and go home, Fan Fan. But Miss Zhu told me to do it. Don't worry, I'll be your new Chinese literature teacher tomorrow. I have the final say. Uh-huh. Miss Chen, can you teach me how to make this? It looks like a star when it's opened. It's beautiful. A star. That's a very interesting analogy. I like it. I will teach you. First, fold it up like this. Then, fold it like this. The last step is to open it up. Look, this is it. Now you try, Fan Fan. First do this, then do this, and finally... Miss Chen, I've got it! You learn fast. Let's fold more. And we'll get into a musical theme here, interesting. I folded a lot of stars with Miss Chen. I love Miss Chen. A relationship blossom between the little girl and the new teacher, I guess. Ah. 
I will study hard because Miss Chen told me. that every word I write on my exercise book. Will sprout and grow into a flower field. Ah, such nice poetry. <laughs> I guess there is some parts that uh, are quite positive in this story. Interesting. As we become a bird. Oh, hold on. Do you remember the bird from the poem? Ah, in any case, let's move on. The poem that said, I will rather fly away than die. And back to reality, I guess. Fan Fang, why do you come home so late today? A new Chinese literature teacher in the school taught me origami. What does that teacher look like? Hmm, she's different from the other teachers. But she's as pretty as mom. It seems that you like the new teacher very much. You should study hard since she's going to teach you. I will. The food is ready. Wash your hands and call your grandparents over to eat. All right. A few happy moments. Interesting. There are several steaming dishes on the table. Oh, she's... You went to visit the witch today. What did she say? I thought you didn't believe in these. Miss Zhang summoned Yu So. Yu said that he was doing good, so we didn't have to worry about him. He also asked us to take good care of Fan Fan. Anyone can say this kind of cliché. You old fart, did you know that you also asked me to send a few words to you? What did he say? He wanted to tell you, Dad, I don't blame you. He also said, Dad, I don't regret being bored in the Tian family. He... Did he really say that? You can ask your daughter-in-law if it was real. Ah yes, the grandfather receiving forgiveness. Because it was his sins that cursed the son, I guess. I'm full. I'm going out for a walk. I'm not hungry. I'm going to light some incense for you. Fan Fan, fish is good for your brain. You should eat more fish. Get an A in your exam and show it to your dad. Ah yes, eat good food, get good grades. All that matters to parents, I guess. The fish mom cooked is delicious. But my mom doesn't like fish. I had asked grandma why mom can cook fish well, even if she hates it. Grandma told me that it is because my dad and I like fish. Mom loves me and dad so much that she'll even do things she doesn't like. I asked grandma if I have to do things I didn't like if I loved someone. Grandma didn't answer me. She told me that kids shouldn't ask this kind of question. Yes, and the answer was obvious. Love comes second. But children should not know that, I guess. As yet another creepy door opens. Oh, I do not like the reduced vision. That means something is about to jump at me. All right. Or maybe not. Use the camera because we need it to get past the door. Let's use it again one more time. 
see if anything's off in the room. No, we actually need to get past the other talisman door. So I'm gonna revert it again. All right, and there it is, our next destination. Oh, another diary page? Yes, a damaged page of a diary is stuck on the wall. 21st March. Today, Grandpa went to see the old lady with us. Grandma said I couldn't enter the house and told me to go play outside. I saw a small shed on the road with the vase girl written on it. I was curious, so I bought a ticket. And let's tear off the ticket. The vase girl is a fortune teller, I guess. Interesting. Oh, shoot. I guess we're gonna use that ticket right away. A strange shadow appears behind the mosquito netting. If you wish to find the answer, you must give up something precious. Interesting. There is a bottle and an empty bowl on the bed. If you wish to find the answer, yes, as I already read, you must give up something precious. Does it mean that one needs to give up something he values before asking questions? Alright, so we need to find something valuable, don't we? A small bed piled with stuff. It looks like it's been a long time since someone slept on it. Right, hold on, there's two cameras here. Oh. Oh, we are supposed to align this into a star? Okay, cool. Excellent. Obtain the marble. Alright, so I'm guessing we're acquiring fan fans items to put into the bowl. Alright, let's do the other one as well. That would be... a cage. It sounds like something hits the window. Okay. Blood smears the window. There are black feathers on it. It's obviously a bird crash landed here. And we obtained one of its feathers. Is that considered something precious? Interesting. Let's find out. Put the marble and the feather into the bowl, yes. However weird that is. Oh, shoot. <laughs> a female voice is coming from the vase. I guess that's why it's called the vase girl. What do you want to know? Who, who are you? You're using other people's valuable possessions. So I can only answer questions about them. Two items. Two questions. Who do you want to hear about? Ah, uh, let's take it from the top. Tell me about Fanfan's mother. After the father died, the grandfather beat up the doctor who treated his son. The mother secretly visited the doctor. Ooh, plot thickens. She said the doctor was a good person who did nothing wrong. So, Zhao Xiaohuan had an affair with Yi Jing's son? I can answer each person one question only. Who do you want to hear about? Alright, so we are left with the question something. Made the mother actually trust the doctor. She was closer to the doctor than her own father, I guess? Well, father-in-law in this case. All right, let's hear about the mysterious Miss Chen then. Miss Chen is different from other teachers. She's like a big sister and she is very gentle to us. But she's also very mysterious. 
I asked her why she came here to teach. She always answered, That's a secret. So we are hearing the opinion of Fanfang about Miss Chen right now. Interesting. Who do you want to hear about? Well, we reached the end of the conversation, I guess. The vase is not responsive anymore. All right then. So, uh, what have we learned? We have learned that two persons are not exactly what they seem to be. The mother has something going on with the doctor, and Miss Chen is not a simple teacher. Apart from that, nothing else, I guess. All right, let's get out of here. Uh-oh. All right, just a crooked uh, painting, I guess. Straighten the certificate. This is to certify that Tian Fan Fan won the second prize in the Xinxie City Secondary and Primary School Essay Competition. There is a crack on the certificate. Something seems to be hidden behind it. Oh, and tear open the crack. Oh, this is about us. This is to certify that Lin Lixun is an outstanding AAA student in the second semester of 1990. This is my certificate. There's another crack on it. Alright, let's stir it further. People's hero is immortal. Commemorating the death of comrade Lin Zhongming. Is that our father? Is that uh, the father of, of us, actually, of Lin Lixun? Early 1997, Wei Baoping, I'm sorry, I do not know how to read this. An armed fugitive who committed crimes across many provinces entered our city. Upon receiving the news, Officer Ling Zhongping led the hunt for him. 10th of April, when searching through an apartment, Officer Ling Zhongping found Wei Baoping. Wei Baoping fired his gun at the police. Officer Ling Zhongping and his fellow police officers fought back. In the gunfight, Lin Zhongping was shot, I'm guessing in the head. Alright, so this is how the father died, I guess. When we can even crack it further. Outstanding student, representative of Nishi Town, Shinse City. The legacy of a hero, Lin Lixun. Interesting. And there we are. A mirror is behind the picture frame, which is obviously going to transport us somewhere again. After my dad died in the course of performing his duty, it seemed like my every move was being watched. What kind of school I was admitted to, what honors I received, and my relationships with my classmates and teachers. All those things that I acquired with my own hands. In their eye, were a continuation of my dad's heroic spirit. Ah yes, the sun living under the big shadow that dad casts, I guess. Officer. Officer? Officer Lin! Miss Chen, where did you go just now? I was about to ask you the same thing. I just turned around and you disappeared. I saw you staring at Fan Fan's certificate blankly as I came in. By the way, I discovered that the door at the entrance was open. There's a dark staircase leading down. Oh boy, another dark staircase, of course. Hmm, let's go check it. Shen Xing Shu joined the team again. You can obtain more clues by investigating some places again. Yes, we know the drill by now. Starting with the certificate. This is the certificate Fan Fan won in the city's writing contest. She was really smart and imaginative. If she hadn't passed away, she probably would have more opportunities. Alright, and I'm guessing that's all we get out of this certificate. There seems to be a very special relationship between Miss Chen and Fan Fan. 
and only a positive relationship at that. Maybe that's why Chen is looking for the, uh, or the real murder. She did say she had something to send to the press, so I'm guessing she knows more than she's letting on. Alright, so let's invert the camera here first. See if there's anything we can discover in this room. Oh, interesting, the game wants me to go back. Alright, let's do that. Seems like we've missed something. Or actually, hold on. What am I talking about? We can go down the stairs. Yes, there you go. There's a dark staircase leading downward. You feel a cool gust of wind blowing through it. Do you want to investigate? Yes, we do. And make sure to join me in the next episode to find out what looms at the bottom of the staircase.